facts. And if there are any plumbers within the sound of my voice that could weigh in on this, I greatly appreciate that. Because something weird happened to me about a couple hours ago. Now, n- not to get too, you know, personal, but, you know, in the restroom. Oh, gosh. Stall. Door, oh, okay. door, door is shut. Yeah. And I've done this several times. Not today, but like, you know, throughout my career. <laughs> several. <laughs> Anyways. So I'm in there and the, this thing happened to me today that has never once happened ever before, ever. And that is the automatic flush on one of the urinals in the restroom went off. And it and flushed. And you're not by the urinal. You're no. You're in a stall. I'm in a stall. I'm by myself. Seemingly. You're sure no one's in there. I. Well, that's my question. Do those things just go off? Just occasionally flush just in case. Because it it is a sensor. It's not like one of those that you have to push a button or like pull a lever or something like that to get. It knows when it's been used. The toilet to, to flush. Out. Right. And, and so it. It, it senses when there's someone in front of uh, the, the unit, and then when someone leaves, then it flushes. But there was no one there. And I got goosebumps all up on my, my arms, and I was like, Did oh, a ghost just use the restroom? Is I didn't want to say that. Well, uh, but should we be the, asking for paranormal experts to be weighing in no, on this instead first of plumbers? I, yeah, first I want to talk to plumbers. Okay. I, right. if, if there are any plumbers who have experience with those automatic flush sorts of things that they just go off on occasion then from time to time mind that there was a ghost using the restroom then that exactly okay because you know when you are seemingly the only person in the building sure that could be kind of disconcerting where you're like okay and then i come into the building i come back into the building because our, our restrooms are out in the hall and the uh tv screen has been changed So it wasn't on the screen that it was when I left. So I'm like, man, two quick events that happened right in a row. Makes you feel like you're Where it was like a a ghost had to run, use the restroom, Uh and didn't like what was on our television, so switched it to watch (laughs) watch, watch some music videos or something. Now listen, Jennifer doesn't identify herself as a plumber, but says a school I work at has automatic flush toilets. Sometimes they go off by themselves. It's weird. Okay. All okay. right, so so that has happened before where those things just, those sort of anomalies sort of happen. But is, what's strange is this is the first time this has ever happened to me, ever. Okay. Like there has never been a time where uh, one of those toilets have gone off where I have not been using it or someone has not been using it. I will say I'm right there with you. That's never happened to me either. Like someone is in there if it's going off. Uh, Allison said and texted in, yes, they can go off on their own when they're going out. We had one in the church bathroom and it flushed constantly. Oh. Oh, like if okay. the sensor's starting to die yeah, like or something a like that? Mechanical failure oh. starting to happen. Yeah, that's definitely what happened. Rather than a ghost just needed to use the restroom and go number one. <laughs> Although the change in the channel thing is still perplexing. Yeah, I know. That which is, lends itself to it's the just, ghost argument. It's just a weird couple of circumstances that happen that literally happened to me today. And I'm like, man, that you is... on the back of your neck stand up? Yeah, it, it yeah. did. It was like, I'm just sitting there. All of a sudden, you know, I get real quiet and I'm just listening. And then like if I heard the door open, it would have freaked me all the heck out and i probably like, oh yeah like would, a slow creaking right right, oh. right exactly <laughs> but but the uh but yeah the, the bathroom door didn't open didn't close just the the flush happened there in See, this building is not supposed to be haunted we're supposed to be in a non-haunted building now right our old building was that would be a little bit more. That, like that was more Civil War era building. Yeah. That yeah, that, it there had was historic value. Yeah, there were some weird things that happened. This building was built in the eighties, so I mean, I, I mean, still, granted, could be haunted because you know the eighties, forty years ago. So, um, you know, there's still definitely some things that could happen. Um, I'm bothered more by the changing of the channel. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. I like now again, that we've had some people roll in saying, "Yeah, toilets can do that." Okay. I'm more bothered right. by the changing of the you channel. You know what? I'm just going to let the, the the channel changing thing go. 
Okay. If 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 the sensor is failing on that toilet, then I'm all right with that. Rather okay. than Casper needing to use the restroom and <laughs> Well, keep us posted unless we need to like, you know, call our friends in a paranormal society. No, I think we'll be fine. Bring their stuff over with their little beep beep meters. Yeah, I mean, we'll be fine. I think. I just wanted I just wanted to hear it from experts or at least some people who've experienced it. Well, Allison and Jennifer are going to be our resident experts. All right, thank you for being our toilet experts this morning here the <laughs> On the show on 9970 JX. Look, you never know when you're going to be called into action on this show. And your expertise could serve you well. So thank you. Appreciate that. It's 9970 JX.